Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I go by Rachel Ray on the internet and this is the video each week where I catch you up on cross stitch, knitting, and other fiber arts. We call it floss tube. Uh, most of the people on YouTube use that moniker just for cross stitch but I throw everything in there because most of the other stuff on my channel is about diamond painting. However, um, I am multi <laughs> I like to dabble in a lot of different things, mostly because I can't focus on one thing long enough to actually like, you know, finish it. But that's another story. <laughs> if you enjoy watching people's progress on things and seeing lots of different projects, I'm your girl because I have a lot of different projects and I like to change them out quite frequently. However, this week I decided that I was going to try to work on my most desperately needed to finish projects. So I'm going to show you those. I also have the giveaway winners. I do not have any finishes this week. <laughs> that rarely happens. If I ever finish something, it's in the title. <laughs> um, if you have never been on my channel before, welcome. I'm glad to have you stop by. If you enjoy this video and you'd like to see more, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can see more from me and the bell so that you get notified when I do upload because sometimes it just doesn't Anyway, whatever. It's YouTube. Welcome. <laughs> if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and joining me this week as well. Um, first, I'd like to congratulate the winner of last week's giveaway. Uh, I did a small giveaway on the channel here to give away these, um, the floss pack for the Peppermint Purple Stitch Along 2021. Um, so the, the flosses for that free pattern, I had ordered that pack and um, unfortunately I just I'm not going to be doing that stitch along this year nothing against um, Claire at peppermint purple at all it's just that I have enough projects that have to do with temperature for this year <laughs> and um, I don't I don't really I did 2020 and it was beautiful um, but I want to give someone else the chance and that person out of 66 people who commented the word purple in last week's episode the winner is Amanda Palmer Amanda congratulations she is also a patron of mine so I am so happy that you did win she lives in Australia and uh, she was asking me in the comment about the lighting that I use because I was talking about how it was really difficult to see the threads on linen at night. And I do actually have a lamp that sits behind me here in my recliner when I stitch at night. But I think my eyes just get tired at night. I had LASIK surgery done, so... Um, at night, my eyes get affected a lot. I can't really drive at night or anything like that anymore unless, you know, unless I'm wired with coffee. <laughs> and even then, I just I just don't bother. I live in the country, so. Oh, and if you're new, I live in Ireland. I'm an American that lives in Ireland and um, I've been here for seven years. Six, five, five six, seven. This is year seven. <laughs> As of, ooh, as of three days from now, it'll be seven years. Holy cow. Time flies. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to show you, this is my Luna mug. Um, so John Valentine and Charlie Waters are behind this mug. The website that I got it from is a prairiepotter.com. So a prairie, like, you know, little house on the prairie, a prairiepotter.com. Um, John is the potter and Charlie is the artist. And isn't it just adorable? This is my dog's face. My dog is Luna. She's actually at the beach right now. So uh, with my husband. I love this mug. This actually holds a liter of coffee. <laughs> You can see there's a little paw print there. Um, hand painted by Charlie. We had a fantastic conversation, so I actually ordered one a long time ago, and when it arrived, it arrived broken. And so I communicated back and forth with Charlie, and she actually was like, no, I want, I want to give you another one. Give me another picture. <laughs> so um, I sent her this picture of Luna, and um, 
she made me another one and I paid for the shipping and it was amazing I got it and it was in one piece and I was just like oh yay so this holds my cafeteric coffee so I no longer have to go refill And I love it. Thank you so much, John and Charlie. I appreciate it. Um, definitely send them an email if you're interested. They, um, she says that she can't, she's not very comfortable painting faces, but she is comfortable painting animals. And on that website, they actually have like a gallery that you can look at. And I mean, I know lots of floss tubers who have gotten their own mugs from John and Charlie and yeah. Adorable. I love mine. So I use it almost every day. <laughs> um, right. So congratulations, Amanda. Let's talk about works in progress. Whips. WIP work in progress. So the first one that I have to show you, I ironed everything, by the way. I'm so proud of myself. First one up is, where's my, my thingy? I had a thingy, y'all. This is what happens when I get prepared. It's over there whatever it's over there it's gonna have to stay over there first one up <laughs> is Wakanda forever by Park Hopper Bart this is on 32 count nothing fabric from mystic fabrics I'm using B stitch me silks and weak Dye works for the white and it's beautiful so I've since last time, I have gone and fixed my issue here, and I've gone all the way up and done all the lettering there, and now I'm moving over from there. And I realize now that this piece of fabric is huge. I wanted to set, start in the center, but I'm going to have some extra bits on the top and bottom for ornaments, which makes me happy. But it is beautiful, and the drape of this fabric is just Gorgeous. I love it so much. So um, Park Hopper Bart is on Gumtree. I have links to the fabric and to the uh, shops like Be Stitch Me, Mystic, um, Park Hopper Bart's Gumtree account, um, all in the Link Haven. And also I have inf more information if I ever mm, misspeak and I don't say everything about the pattern or the count of the fabric or something that's in my whip list both of those are down below in the description box of this video and they are google documents that I, i'm able to change and, and keep updated for you all just so that you're kept up to date with that next up this one's hard to show on camera because it's on white this is my apricot polka dot Temperature Mandala. I think that's working. Look at that. Can you see it? Hear the kids next door playing? It's a beautiful Sunday. It is difficult to show the colors. Um, I apologize for that. Let's see if I can get the exposure back. It's nice and bright and really colorful. The idea is that every day you stitch a square that is um, a part of the pattern that is within a five, is it five by five block? I believe, yeah, five by five block with the possibility of 25 stitches for each day. So this goes very fast and I was able to catch up to the end of March or maybe I went into, no, I caught up to the 17th of March, excuse me, or April. What am I saying? Words. <laughs> so I am going to come around here and finish the month of April very soon. I love this chart. I love the colors. They make me really happy. That's much better. There we go. Um, and the promise is, is that wherever I am in the world, I will use the high temperature for that day and um, stitch that into my, into my little mandala here. And then I'll have a record. 
What I really like about this project is that I can look at this. I can look at this and I can recognize which squares were special days in my life. So for example, um, this corner here was the day that my grandfather passed away. Um, I remember um, this is the 2nd of January and it was the hottest day that like I was like what is going on and then it immediately it got really cool and then it started snowing and snowing and and yeah it snowed twice so that was a yeah this week was a very stressful week but you know I'll remember this and when I look at this piece it'll have that meaning for me but it'll be a very personal thing do you know what I mean so it's not necessarily like way out there, but for me, it has a lot of meaning. So I'm really enjoying it. That's on just plain 14 count Eta. Next, I want to show you this one. This one we did the work in progress and chat on this week. This is my heaven and earth design, Soul of the Rose. The original artist for this piece is John William Waterhouse, who's fantastic, who was a fantastic painter. And um, I am stitching this on 25 count even weave, uh, tent stitch, so two strands over one thread. And I put in about, I wanna say about 200 or 250 stitches. So it's not really much of a change, but I thought I would show you the project itself so you can see the definition of it. I do love this project. I am using the parking method and I'm doing that because I don't I don't like to color complete and sometimes I get into a sticky situation where um, if there's, there's a lot of confetti. So sometimes it's easier for me to park a thread and come back to it later than to continue and make a mistake. I've learned this. This is page six. This is the last page before going down to the next row. And uh, a, there's a big part of me that wants to actually just get to her face and do her face first and then keep going with the background. But I may just go row by row. I love this project. I think it's beautiful. That that right there is, oh, there. I'm directionally challenged. That's the picture of the artwork. I'm sure that you recognize it. The lady smelling the roses. Oh, by the way, I cut my hair, but I did a very poor job of it. So I'm gonna, as soon as the hairdressers open up, I will get it fixed. I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, what did you do? Just got tired of it. Now this is the last whip that I've worked on this week. Uh, this weekend marked 24 hours of cross stitch weekend, another one. And I did not do 24 hours, but I chose this piece to be my focus. This is Dark Queen of the Seas Stitch Along SAL by Autumn Lane Stitchery. And I have had a love-hate relationship with this project. So <laughs> I've finished this part of the magic ink and then I started down below on the seaweed the kelp and I did a lot of work there's so many stitches in this and it's very deceptive in these leaves there are hundreds and hundreds of stitches and I haven't even gotten to the back stitching yet so sorry let me center it so next up, we are going, I'm going to finish up on the seaweed over here. Then I have to come over here and I have to do a trident and more coral. Um, I'm saving the crown and things like that for later. I don't know if I'm going to do the upper elements. Um, and we get a new release on the first. So a new pattern drop. She is beautiful. I really like her. She looks so sassy. 
So those are my works in progress. This is a 28 count Bewitched by Under the Sea Fabrics. This went along with the, um, or I got this in the, I ordered it especially for the sale because the artist, the designer, and the fabric dyer got together and made a um, package thing. <laughs> I can't think. Words. I need more coffee. Anyway, isn't she pretty? I love her. Um, and I'm using the called for DMC and everything. But that is it's a lot of stitching. <laughs> it is a lot of stitching. So, um, plans this week. Well, Saturday is May 1st, next Saturday. So, that's when I will see you again for floss tube, but um, I'm going to try to work on Dark Queen this week. Um, I would like to put a lot more time into Wakanda Forever, so I'm going to stick with these whips for this week. But starting May 1st, I'm going to be doing like Dark Queen of the Sea during the week, and then my Mania works in progress. If you don't remember Mania, it's like where you start a whole new pro whole new project every day for however many days in May, but um, I'm not going to start any new projects. Just I'm just not I'm not in the right space of mind for new projects right now. I have a lot. I have a whole pile of works in progress over there, and then I have a whole uh, tote bag full of my mania projects. So I have enough variety for next month already but I am looking forward to kind of like incorporating that but that's after next weekend this week though I just want to keep focusing on on um, Dark Queen and Wakanda Forever and then I'm going to get ready for Mania I guess uh, let's let's show you my haul so this week for cross stitching I got this bag from Cal's Winky Wonky Bags on Etsy. This is a vinyl fronted bag. And the pattern on the back is so cute. Look at all this little sheep. I love sheep. I live in rural Ireland and I live right next to a sheep field. So you can see the inside fabric is like these daisies or what are they? Yeah, daisies and a pink fabric. I think that goes super well. So I'm going to find something nice to put in here. So cute. I love it. Thank you, Cal. I will have her linked in my Link Haven for uh, stitching accessories. And is there any other cross-stitching haul? I did. Let me just get this out of the way. Oof. I did go ahead and open these, but I don't know if I'll show them on the on the channel. I'd like you to tell me if you'd like to see flip throughs of these. What's the first one? Let's see, that one is February and that one is January. So I got the World of Cross Stitching magazines for January. And February. But I was not here to receive them, so I was unable to um, to release them at the proper time, <laughs> which would have been December and January. Uh, and that is the last of the World of Cross Stitching that I'm going to be showing on the, or that I'm going to be having. Um, I found that over time I realized that the patterns are really not exactly to my taste. So I would rather spend the money on patterns that I do like, but that's no, no offense to any of the designers in the magazine or to the editors or anything. It's just, you know, money is tight. It's a pandemic. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. I already took my allergy pill, but the window's open, so maybe that's why. Anyway, um, for cross stitching, I would like to do another little giveaway. Please, please. Make sure that you filled in my happy mail form, which is a Google form down below, so that I have your email address, so that if you win, I can contact you and let you know that you've won. 
Um, you have to be 18 or older. You have to use the word that I say in a comment. Somehow, I love it when it's funny or interesting or, you know, fun to read. Um, but this is something that I got from one of these magazines eons ago, and I want to share it with you. So I will send it to whoever wins worldwide, and it is this kit from the World of Cross Stitching magazine, and it says, time to celebrate, stitch birthday wishes to brighten someone's day, and it's like a little banner that says happy birthday to you. This is a great beginner pattern that will cover a lot of bases. It comes with Ada fabric and floss. And it's quite, it's quite easy. Um, there's also a card and an envelope in there. So if you would like to stitch this chart, please put happy somewhere in your comment, happy. Don't use the word giveaway. Any comment with the words give away or give away as one word, will probably get flagged and deleted, so just don't use giveaway anywhere. Just happy. Tell me about your happiest birthday. Talk about how happy you are to be stitching. <laughs> Whatever you want. Okay, let's talk about knitting real quick. So I did not do any knitting, I know. Shock horror. I think after working on the Season of Serenity shawl for so long, I simply burned out a little bit. And also I'm having a bit of um, decision paralysis. Does anybody else have that? Where, um, tractor. I want to start something new, but I also have older things on the needles. And I am very much a fleeting kind of person. So like, Something will grab my attention and I'll do it for a little while and then I'll put it down and then I'll start something new and then I'll forget about it or I won't get back to it. And I have a few of those projects on the needles right now. But I really want to start this. <laughs> so um, I was given hand-dyed yarn by my friend Heike Stone Cold Coffee Crafts here on YouTube. She has a floss tube as well. Please check her out. She's in Germany and uh, she dyed these for me for Christmas. Yeah, remember? I opened these in a, in a friend mail episode. These are beautiful. There's one more actually, but I can only use three contrasting colors and I had to order a main color. So of course I ordered black. <laughs> so we're gonna have this. Look at that black, it's an absolute black. I love it. It's like a, it's like a dark hole. gonna be amazing. So I bought two hanks of black from Mothy and the Squid. Mothy and the Squid are based in the UK. This one is called Midnight Black, 75% merino, 25% nylon, superwash treated, 500, no, 420 meters, 100 gram skein. So I got two of these. They are a little bit thinner than the contrasting colors, but that's okay. And this is her business card. And they gave me like a little stitch marker, ballerina dress and slippers, which is cute. So I love um, going to Mothy and the Squid. It's, it's a great shop. Um, and this, this makes me so excited to start a new project because I know that it's gonna look fantastic. Heike, she dyed these with the slip stravaganza shawl in mind and she purchased the pattern for me. So, question is, do I start it or do I finish the Harry Potter advent shawl first? The Metamorph Magus? I also have a cardigan, but it's just too hot to work on that. <laughs> it's too hot to work on that right now. Ooh, I don't know. The Metamorph Magus shawl has some really complicated 
knitting stitches in it and that kind of makes me feel a little intimidated where I am right now so but I can do it I mean I can I can work through it I work through everything um I guess that's one of my my fun attributes is that if it's if it's challenging I will research the heck out of it and then I will find the answer and do it but you know I just have this moment where I'm like why am I doing this? Mmm. <laughs> Bucket of coffee. So that's where I am for knitting. Crochet, we're getting close to the... Well, we're not that close. It's April 25th. June the 21st, I will be starting my uh, corner to corner crochet blanket. Lap blanket. Uh, and you're welcome to uh, join me as well. That's another temperature temperature blanket, like a temperature project. So if you didn't do any other temperature projects or if you just want another one, you're welcome to join me. Um, I got all of my yarn last year and I think I talked about it in one of my floss tubes in November, I wanna say, or was it December? It should be in the title of the video, but if you're interested in seeing which yarn I did get, because um, it is a specific kind that I got so that the blanket won't be king size. <laughs> right. I think that's all I have to talk about today. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I did, I did get my sample of my merch craft drink repeat mug. And then on this side, it has a prancing unicorn. Um, people associate unicorns with me. I'm going with it. <laughs> so if you're interested in getting a mug, I also have some new things that I just put up. Uh, like I'd rather be diamond painting and ask me about my whip mugs. So you're welcome to uh, check that out if you like. There's no pressure. Uh, but that link is down below as well. Was there anything else that I was going to tell you about? I don't think so. I think that's it. So my happy mail was things that I purchased this week. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining me and listening to me ramble on about my projects and things. I know that this video is a very short one in comparison to other videos that I've made, but unfortunately I'm in a bit of a time crunch. Today is my uh, date to Zoom with my Patreon uh, peeps. So if you follow me on Patreon uh, and you're in the Zoom tier, then you get to Zoom with me each month. Um, if you are interested in joining and having the opportunity to do so, there are still spots available. However, by the time that you see this video, the Zoom will be over. So I highly recommend that you wait until um, May the 1st to join the Patreon so that you don't get charged double. But it is something that I offer. We do a Zoom craft and chat once a month at the end of the month. And um, you also get a live stream with me uh, once a month as well. And uh, if you go into that tier, I have other tiers. You can see my behind the scenes vlogs where I show you around and we go walking with my dog and you get to hear about my crazy shenanigans and stuff like that um, if you're into that sort of thing and you get to know what my upcoming schedule is for the next week. So I think it's a good deal, but that's up to you as well. It does help support me and my channel while I am transitioning into uh, a business owner. It's crazy, <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Even if you just watch the videos, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I love it interacting with you guys in the comments and just hanging out every week this has been the most fun i've ever had in a job and you make it totally worthwhile so thank you so much please remember to stay safe keep hydrated take your meds and all that um, be kind to yourself thank you so much for coming and hanging out and i hope that you have a great weekend and a great week ahead and i'll see you soon in the next one take care everyone happy crafting bye